Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Teachers at the Abroso Junior High School in the Doma East District of the Bono region are appealing to government to give the school a facelift. The school is recording low enrollment owing to poor infrastructure and academic performance. Knowledge is spa. Information is liberating. Education is a premises of progress in every society and family. These are the words of Ghana's illustrious son, Busumuru Kofianan, in his quest to imbibe academic excellence in the present generation. However, government's attention to education at Abroso in the Doma East District has not been encouraging, as every aspect is challenged infrastructure and furniture, which are some of the basic necessities to improve education, are poor in the parts of the districts. The school established about three decades ago still grapples to provide chairs for pupils who have enrolled to receive formal basic education. Pupils are left with no option than to take their end-of-term examination on the dusty floor. Teaching and learning materials are equally non-existent. As at now, most of them, they do squat whilst they are writing. So we are pleading to the government, through the DC to the government, so that if there is any assistance, then they give to Abrosu Basic School. The community intervened by providing some structures to accommodate staff, but some of the teachers had to vacate the room to make way for the school's office. District Chief Executive for Doma East, Emmanuel Ajuman, said although the Assembly is committed to addressing educational challenges in the district, funding remains a barrier. There is no way, it's not possible that the Assembly can capture all those schools, but what we are paying so much attention to is the self-help, so that when the communities do something, if we have somebody somewhere who would want to support in any way, then the assembly will also give the um, support that uh, it can afford. Pupils of the Abroso Primary and Junior High schools are optimistic to change society with knowledge gained through education, but this would require government's resolve to improve education in the area. In other news, despite myriads of challenges, the Totibo DA Basic School continues to show academic excellence. The school scored aggregate 7, the highest in the Isojaman district in 2017. Peter Kwao Adato reports the school again topped the district with 100% pass in 2018. The Totibo Junior High School was established some six years ago, mainly to help reduce school dropouts rates in the area. Hitherto, children in the area had to trek nearly five kilometers, climbing hills, to access junior high education. This resident said discouraged many children after primary six to continue schooling. Yes. Unfortunately, the solution also came with its own challenges, lack of infrastructure. To date, the entire school is being run under sheds made of palm branches, hence academic activities were possible at the mercy of the weather. For all these years, the school has not gotten any better classroom block with the exception of the primary one to three, which benefited from the HIPIC in the year 2004. Even though faced with this challenge, I am glad to say that in recent years, the students as well as the teachers have tried their very best to perform creditably both in the school, the circuit and district level. Despite the obvious challenges, teachers and pupils have demonstrated brilliance. The school soared higher above every other in the Sojaman district during the 2017 Basic Education Certificate Examination, which happened to be its first badge. A female candidate recorded the only aggregate serving in the district. In 2012, the district education director organized a reading test among all the public schools in the Sojaman district. And the school emerged first out of 72 schools. Also, the first batch, the BEC candidate in 2017-2018 academic year, performed marvelously. The best student in the district was a female student from Totibo DA Basic School. 
and students still work hard to perform well as the 2018-2019 academic year, BEC students also perform very well with a 100% pass. Theodore N.T. is a Sojaman District Director of Education. We are all witnessing a very beautiful environment, conducive for learning. The children will not be intimidated again by the community. I also want to appeal to the head and the staff that now that we have this nice edifice, it's a challenge to us that next year, let's provide a single digit student here. The Member of Parliament for Sujaman, Thomas Ampem Nyakun, was delighted over the school's achievement, but urged the teachers and pupils to do more to sustain the feat. I was so overwhelmed when last year I heard that in the whole of Sujaman, the best student came from nowhere but Totibo. It shows that it doesn't matter where you are. Say Abu Frebi fi Totibo JHS. Etimia topo a sojaman yin a koso money baby a kawa. Natcha se mofra moti honne esese muse monsumu betimia passe na ma komenim abeye presidents, abeye doctors, abeye teachers, abeye anything you want to be in future. I'm very, very happy that pencils of promise is not just limiting their support to provision of infrastructure. I'm happy about the training they have given you as teachers. You gave us aggregate seven when you did not have that important training. Now you have it. We want to see consistency in your performance. And so whatever you did last year, you must sit back, look at it, and redo it, and give us single digits next year. And as it for Mission, Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time. And over to you, Issa. Thank you, Portia. Let's do